Hello class, today we are going to be learning about the Mayan number system. But first we're going to get a little history on the Mayans, so you know who they are. Well, the Mayans lived way back when, from 18 BC to 900 AD. And they're split into two because the classic Maya period, there was more politics, math, building, um, art and food and the population just grew vastly and that's why it's split into two. And I have two maps here to show you. So in 500 BC, there is a few cities, but it's mainly farming land. But then a thousand years later with 580, you can see that there's a lot more cities and the population has grown a lot and is a lot more people dense. In this, they were located in Mesoamerica, but this you would know more as like the southern part of Mexico and the small neighboring countries around that area. They lived in a rainforest climate where they grew corn, sunflower seeds, and cotton. They also had raised garden beds with some other foods like that, and they also forest, which is they just found food within the forest. They um, had a lot of different pyramids for their architecture, like you can see in the background, or this one image right here you can see, which is still existing today. So they obviously made them very strong because they have lasted for thousands of years. They also had caves, which are, were a great importance to their culture. And these pyramids and caves form cities, basically. They also were known for their art and writing. Their writing was called like hieroglyphics, which is similar to the Egyptians, but they weren't created the same because they were oceans away. But today we are going to be focusing on the mathematics of the Mayan, Mayans and what how they created it. They use a base 5 and a base 20. So we use a base 10. So we have the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then it goes to 10, which is a 1 and a 0. And from then on it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, which are all in spacings of 10. So they used a base 5 and base 20, which I will show you shortly. And they used this by using the zero symbol, dots, line, and spaces. So these spaces basically showed from 10 to 20. Like they just show, or 10 to 100. They just showed the different the different place values. So here's a example of what it is. So zero kind of looks like an upside down bread in my mind. And then it goes one to four is just represented by dots. So four has four dots. And then five is a line. So that's the base five that is showing. So then from five, you just add dots to get to nine, like you see. And then for 10, it's just two fives. And then you get to 19, which is three fives, which equals 15, plus four dots, which equals 19. And we'll go on to 20s and higher when we get to class tomorrow. So what you're going to be doing for practice at home is using simple subtraction and addition to get to a answer. But I'm only going to give you, like for instance, the 9 and 7 and how we recognize it. And you have to say what 9 is in the Mayan number system, 7 is in the Mayan number system. Find the answer, which is 2, and then use the Mayan number system of two dots to show your answer. So it will look very similar to this at the end and I will link the worksheet to this. Thank you for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.